So I suppose I should tell you about what we're doing today, shouldn't I? Now I'm back on my mat today because we're having another lie down, okay? Today we are looking at um, mobility um, and primarily it's spinal mobility that we're going to be looking at because it's uh, women during midlife who are most common um, um, to um, sort of experience uh, um, back problems, back pain, stiffness around sort of a midlife, around that time of our lives. Um, so that's what I thought we'd focus a little bit on today. But I'm also going to show you a little technique that you can do um, to help you engage those deep core abdominal muscles. Because I get asked for that an awful lot. How do I strengthen my tummy muscles? And, and ladies who have got problems with their back are often referred to me from physios or doctors who said you need to strengthen your core to help support your back. So I teach that, well, I teach it in every class. Um, so I'm going to show you a really simple technique today that you can get started with. It is so simple. Okay, but we're going to do a little bit of that today. I'm going to show you how to do it. So I hope you're going to be taking part with me. You're not going to just sit there or you will want. You're going to, you've already got your mat out, haven't you? I hope you have. So you need your mat. Um, you will need a towel to support your head when we come down to the mat. And I've got my yoga block, but a cushion is fine or another towel. Okay, you'll need this morning. Okay, so we'll use those in a little while. So I see some more people are hopping on. So good morning. If you are joining me, don't forget to say hello in the comments so I know that you're here with me. Right, let's take a breath. I've got lots to tell you this morning. I'll tell you some now, I'll tell you some at the end. So bombarding you all before we start. So let me start off by just recapping what we have done this week and why we've been doing what we have been doing. So we've been working on um, some aspects of our health fit and fitness this week. So we've been looking at flexibility, we've been looking at strength and balance, and today we're working more on mobility. And these are just four areas, there are others, but these are just four areas that we need to really focus on when we hit uh, that menopausal age, midlife and beyond. Um, because if we are looking to stay active and mobile in our later years, in our 70s and our 80s, we need to start thinking about doing something now. So flexibility is really important. Um, it helps us to move easier. It will help you to reach down and pick something up off the floor. Um, but as I touched on a little bit on Tuesday at the workshop, yes, stretching and lengthening out the body, but the stretches themselves if you do it in a certain way, if you just take a, a sort of five or ten minutes quiet time to yourself, you can make those stretches a really relaxing experience. And when we're rushing about every day, because we've all got busy lifestyles, sometimes we just don't take the time to stop, even if it is just for five minutes. But if we just stop and just focus on some gentle stretching, it just helps us to calm our minds, calm our bodies. It just helps to take the focus off the busyness of the day and just to check in with how we're feeling. You might, as you, like we did on Tuesday, I asked you to do that, just to check in at how you were feeling at the beginning, to be aware of the tightness and tension that you might be holding on to in your body. And then after you've done a short session, just feel, just, just check in again, see how you feel. Do you feel more relaxed? Do the do the muscles feel more relaxed and you feel that tension has just started to melt away. And sometimes when things are getting really hectic at home or at work, we just need that time. We just need five or ten minutes just to switch off. And we, we don't do it. We often don't do it. As women, we don't do it because we are so busy doing everything else. We don't make ourselves priority. But all you need is five minutes. Just a bit of gentle stretching, even if it's just some gentle neck stretches, some deep breathing can sometimes make all the difference. So that's one of the things that we can do to help us during the stage of our life. And a big one that is going to help us is strengthening our bodies. And that's what we did yesterday. Strength is really important. It's what, it's what promotes our longevity. It keeps us going. So if you um, enjoy those active holidays, you like to go out exploring, lots of walking like I do, and you want to keep doing that as you get older, you need to work on your strength. Because strength muscles keep us moving, but don't forget, it also have a positive impact on your bone health as well. 
So we want to not only strengthen muscles, but strengthen our bones as well. Because if you remember from yesterday, we lose muscle mass, we lose bone density as we get a bit older. So we want to try and at least maintain that, if not help to improve it a little bit. And today we're looking at mobility. Spinal mobility in particular, and I felt quite stiff in my back. It's just how I've been sitting. Um, and I hadn't been moving much. I um, just wanted a complete break from everything, which we do sometimes, don't we? And you get that stiffness, don't you? The problem is, if we don't move enough, if we don't keep moving regularly, that stiffness becomes a regular thing. I mean, once I got up and I moved about for, I mean, after an hour, it had all gone. But if we are consistently not moving our bodies, that stiffness gets worse. It becomes tight. The muscles shorten. We get muscular imbalances in our body, which put stress and strain on the joints. And that's when we start to get those aches and those pains. And for a lot of women, it manifests itself in lower back. Okay, but there's just one more thing I'm going to tell you because I've touched a lot on this week about um, exercises, exercise benefit to make us move better. And I touched a little bit on Tuesday about how exercise can make us feel better in ourselves. But don't forget, there are lots of other health benefits to moving your body. Things that I haven't talked about, and I'm just going to mention briefly now. There are lots of things that will benefit from regular movements. Other um, health conditions such as um, heart disease, which can be quite high in women around uh, midlife. Um, I've had to write them down so I don't forget them. Um, diabetes is another one. Um, a cancer risk, it will help you to reduce your risk. And I've just seen, just this week actually, I think there's a new study out about how um, uh, regular exercise, regular phys physical activity can help to uh, cut your risk of breast cancer, which I think we've already known. Uh, but there's just been a new study out, which I haven't had a chance to read yet, but I think it's something that I will share with you once I've had a chance to look at it myself. Um, and also, uh, for our mental health, anxiety, depression is quite high in women during midlife. And of course, um, it can also help to um, ward off um, things like dementia and Alzheimer's as well. So knowing all of that, all of the benefits that regular movements can give you, why don't we more, move more than we do? We should all be moving more. We've got some fantastic benefits that we can gain from moving our body more. 